Needles presents the Monoject Injection System, a sequence of safety using the sterile platform technique that protects the patient, all hospital personnel, and the community. When you twist the cap to break the seal of the exclusive rigid Monoject syringe and needle package, you begin a sequence of carefully guarded safety procedures which characterizes the entire Monoject injection system. As the originators of sterile disposable needles, Sherwood feels the use of disposable syringes and needles imposes upon the manufacturer the obligation to develop a system of handling which guarantees continuous safety from the selection of raw materials to the disposal of the used unit. The Monoject sterile platform system is an integral part of the Monoject syringe and needle unit. The component parts of the tamper-proof Monoject rigid package which protects the sterility of the unit, have been designed to make the sterile platform technique possible. Syringes and needles are conveniently stored in the Monoject syringe locking case. Color coding by needle gauge of the cap and the sheath of the unit makes quick identification possible. If desired, the cap, which is imprinted with the syringe size, needle gauge and length and sterile lot control number may be used for inventory control. There is only one way, the right way, to open the Monoject rigid package which maintains the syringe sterility. The tamper-proof heat seal must be broken. This is done by either twisting the cap, placing your thumb directly above the heat seal and pressing down, or positioning the syringe package at an angle with the heat seal down, sharply tapping the cap on the countertop. The heat seal serves as a self-signaling device. When you break the heat seal, this signals the unit is sterile. If the cap is found freewheeling, this is your signal that the unit should be considered not sterile and not to be used. The syringe needle combination unit is removed from the sleeve by pushing with a twisting motion. The sleeve is reversed and the needle sheath inserted in the small end. Pressing firmly together with a straight push-on motion ensures a tight seating of the needle. The syringe and needle is removed from the needle sheath with a straight pull-off motion. The straight push-on, pull-off motions form Monoject's exclusive sterile platform. The lip of the sheath, which was inside the package, is sterile. The sterile platform may be stood on end on the countertop. Please note that should the platform accidentally be knocked over, the critical area still remains above the surface of the counter. Medication is drawn in the usual manner. With the sterile platform, there is no danger of contaminating the needle should contact be made with the lip of the sheath. By holding the sterile platform as you would wear a thimble, the unit is resheathed. Note that your fingers are away from the needle point and protected from the likelihood of accidental puncture. The unit is then placed on the monotray for delivery to the patient. After the injection is given, the contaminated unit is safely returned to the sterile platform with a simple one-hand motion. No chance of accidental puncture when resheathing the contaminated needle. When the medication round has been completed, the contaminated unit should be destroyed prior to disposal. To destroy the contaminated needle, the needle hub is placed against the inside edge of the sheath and bent back and forth until the needle cannula breaks from the hub and drops into the sheath. The hub is inserted in the sheath and the sleeve and sheath pressed firmly together. To destroy the syringe, grip the sleeve and syringe as you would a baseball bat. Snap the syringe toward you, breaking off the tip. The syringe is rendered useless and the broken needle is now encapsulated in two hard plastic sheaths for the protection of housekeeping personnel. All parts are then placed in the contaminated materials box for incineration or disposal. There are other easy ways to destroy the syringe. Insert the needle hub in the sterile platform on the monotray, push down firmly, grasp the syringe and snap downward to break off the syringe tip, rendering it useless. Or, while pressing the sleeve and syringe firmly together, a sharp downward snap will break off the syringe tip. 
After destroying the needle and syringe, all parts are placed in the contaminated materials box for disposal. When a separate syringe and separate needle is used, the separate syringe is selected and opened in the same manner as a syringe needle combination unit. Remember, as you break the heat seal, you assure yourself of the sterility of the unit. The Monoject needle cartridge is color-coded for needle gauge and printed with all pertinent information, including sterile lot number. A white cap on the unit indicates a B or short bevel. A clear cap indicates a regular or A bevel. The needle cartridge is opened by breaking the tamper-proof heat seal with an upward snap or by twisting the cap. Remember, this is your assurance of the sterility of the unit. The needle cartridge acts as a wrench for a tight, leak-proof fit of the needle on the syringe or removal of the needle when using double needle technique. The needle is attached to the syringe with a push-on motion. The sheath is removed with a straight pull-off motion. Note the large opening in the needle sheath for safety when resheathing. After medication is drawn, the unit is resheathed. For delivery to the patient, the unit is placed in one of the wells of the universal monotray in a vertical position. After the injection has been given, the contaminated unit is safely returned to the needle sheath with a simple one-hand motion. Again, upon completion of the medication round, the contaminated unit should be destroyed. The needle cannula is broken off, dropping into the sheath. The hub is inserted in the sheath. Holding the syringe in one hand, a quick snap of the needle sheath destroys the syringe tip, leaving the needle broken and encapsulated in the sheath. All parts are placed in the contaminated materials box for incineration or disposal. From the standpoint of ecology, Monoject does not add to the pollution of our environment. Upon incineration, the Monoject polypropylene syringe, sleeve, and sheath burns and forms carbon dioxide and water. These, of course, are two essential life-giving elements. If the materials are disposed of in a sanitary landfill, polypropylene provides a non-leaching binder that holds the earth and landfill together and keeps the ground stable. This again is part of the Monoject sequence of safety developed for the safety of your patient, your personnel, and the community. Safety to yourself in the area of responsibility. Each time you open a Monoject unit, you assure yourself that it is sterile. In the area of patient safety, the use of the sterile platform technique assures there will be no contamination of the needle after drawing medication and returning to the sheath for delivery. For your safety, when the injection has been given and you do have a contaminated needle, there is no danger of accidental puncture when resheathing the needle. The needle point being encapsulated assures the complete environment of safety within the hospital. Housekeeping and other personnel are safe from accidental punctures. Now both needle and syringe are useless. For absolute safety, all parts are placed in the contaminated materials box for incineration or disposal of material and contamination. And the obligation to the area of society has now been fulfilled. This is the Monoject injection system using the sterile platform technique, a built-in sequence of safety that protects the patient all hospital personnel, and the community.